Hi guys, I think I'm getting really compulsive about dumpster diving. I can't drive anywhere and know I'm passing a dumpster without stopping to look. It's crazy. And what is all that? I don't know. So I'm at an Aldi and there's all this weird, mysterious trash on the ground. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't think it's Aldi's trash though, but we need to take a look inside the actual dumpster. Okay. Well, we've got some cucumber, not, what am I saying? We have some avocados here and some zucchini. Looks like a little fruit and veg pile. Some oranges. Got some moldy oranges over there. All right, let me put this in the car. All right, let's take a look at these asparagus. Now they're looking a little icky on the top. This lettuce is looking a little brown. It's not the most beautiful of produce. Oh, they've got some of that Italian bread in the back that I love. Over by that Samsung box. Oh, I'm going in to get that. I'm going in. Oh, look cookies. All right. I'm in. I'm stepping on stuff. I just love this bread. Oof. These huge loaves of Italian bread. Oh, so yummy when toasted. Oh dear. Got lots of bread here. Oh, that's open. Heck, heck, heck. I just got yogurt all over my hand. That's some weird trash. I know, not too much in here that I'm excited about. Mini brownies. That looks cute. Another package of cookies under the moldy oranges. Okay. Oh, there's more avocados. Some of them are kind of mushy, but hopefully some of them are good. I'm using those weird bags of trash down there to cushion the fall as I toss my groceries out of the dumpster. Artisanal bread. And some of these avocados are smooshed. I'm just hoping some will be good. And if not, at least I'll compost them. Cookies. More cookies. There's always somebody in the world who wants a cookie. It's a cookie avocado day with with some of my favorite bread. Ooh. My hand smells like mushy avocado. Okay, I think that's good for this dumpster. I just have to get out. And the produce is piled high enough that I can just sit right on the edge and swing my legs over and vault. You know how I like to vault to my death? Hold on. Wait. Something's happening. I'm sliding off backwards. Here we are. Here we go. Ta-da! Somehow I was sitting on my own thumb up there. All right. Let me just load up the car and ski-daddle. Let's go to the turkey vulture dumpster next. Thank goodness for hand sanitizer. I just hand sanitized the ever-living heck out of my hands. Let's go check our other favorite dumpster cause we're passing by on the way home. I just made a donation delivery at the soup kitchen and I'm just like stoked from that. I'm just riding the, the high of donating a carload of bread. Have I ever told you my hand sanitizer story? I don't think I have because it's kind of embarrassing. <sighs> You dumpster dive and eat garbage food, but you're embarrassed of your hand sanitizer story. Okay, frugal mommy. Let's have it.
The year was 1997, and there I was in Thousand Oaks, California, just a little north of the LA area. So I was in the hospital giving birth to my first child. So I, I gave birth, you know, 36 hours of pushing this ginormous head out of my delicate parts. And anyway, so there I am in my hospital room, in my bed, and they bring me the baby. Here's the baby. She wants to be fed. Here's your baby. They didn't have that accent. So before I took the baby, they pulled out this little bottle of hand sanitizer. So I didn't have to get up and go wash my hands. I could sanitize right there in my bed and take my baby, put her to my breast and give her the milk of life. Yes, I'm big into breastfeeding. I'm a big boob gal, I am. Anyway, so the hand sanitizer, I had never encountered it before. I'd never seen it. I didn't know it existed. This was a brand new product to me, brand new. And I thought it was amazing. Like you've just squeezed this gooey lotion that smells like alcohol or ether or something into my hands. And I rubbed an arm. I'm sterile, I could do surgery, or at least hold my baby. So anyway, I was super impressed with hand sanitizer. Aren't those of us who get excited about the little things in life destined to be the happiest? I think we are. So I was super psyched about the hand sanitizer, and because I'd never encountered it anywhere before, work with me here, people, because I'd never encountered it, I thought it was only available in hospitals. I thought this was a secret magical potion that only hospitals had so that you could be clean in a hospital setting. I did not have any idea that this was a product you could buy in a grocery store or a pharmacy. I had no idea. I thought it was just in the hospital. Little tubes. And so of course, I did whatever I could while in the hospital to gather them up and put them in my bag so I could bring some home because I thought they were amazing. So then I'm home with my baby and I was talking to one of my best friends from high school who also, she lives out in LA still. I don't, she does. And I told her about the hand sanitizer and I was like, they have this amazing stuff in the hospital. You wouldn't believe it. You just squeeze a little onto your hands, you know, you rub it around and then your hands are clean. This stuff is like gold. It's like gold, I said. And then she just laughed at me and said, you are such an idiot. You can get that anywhere. They have that in every store. It's not just a hospital thing. It's not a secret. It's available everywhere. And I was all like, are you kidding me? I never heard of this. I never saw it anywhere. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And to this day, 23 years later, she still makes fun of me. It's like, remember when you thought hand sanitizer was like gold? It's like gold. And there's, there's a lot of stupid things I've done that I should probably be more embarrassed of than I am. But for some reason, this one really embarrasses me. Like every time she brings it up, I'm just like, shut up, just shut up. It is like gold. Leave me alone. It's like gold. That's my hand sanitizer story. We're almost at the other dumpster. Yay! It's time to look below and give us a thumbs up. I mean, personally, when I look at videos, I thumbs up them before I even start looking at them because I think it's important to be supportive of the YouTubers I watch. I mean, it would be just obnoxious to give something a thumbs down. Why would you? I don't get it, but up or down doesn't really matter. Just click one of them. Let YouTube know you're here and you're involved and you're engaged because you, my viewers, you are like gold. Well, the lid's open. What does that mean? I don't see piles of garbage coming out. I don't think this day is their garbage pickup day. I don't know, guys. I don't see any of those vultures around. They're not vultures, they're turkey vultures. It is different. And I know they're not gonna do anything to me, but I have a fear of birds. We can discuss that another time, but, and they're big. All right, let's go take a look in the dumpster. Here we go, what's going on in the dumpster? Oh my, oh, I was gonna say, oh, it is throwing away bread day. I don't know if I can deal with any more bread, because we've rescued a lot of bread. Oh, but I see dinner rolls back there, and these danishes, and a garlic bread. 
It's carbohydrate day here in the dumpster. It's carb day. I'm gonna have to climb in because I can't reach anything. You know how I like to climb in. Any excuse to climb in. Hopefully this box is gonna be sturdy enough to help me get out. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. I know my pants have holes in the knees. Okay. Here we go, caramel nut Danish, do do do, looking so lovely. Quickly, quickly, oh my god, something about brown and serve rolls I just love. There's a bottle of Tide there. Do you think it actually has any detergent in it? No, it's empty. Ugh, oh, what a drag. Okay. Okay, we're rescuing the brown and serve rolls. Okay. We have all this bread here, and don't criticize me for not rescuing it. Ooh, banana nut muffins. Um, because if you watched our last video with that bread haul, I mean, we just have so much bread, and I just delivered a bunch to the soup kitchen, and I'm just gonna leave this for other divers because I just, I just don't need any more bread even though I'm taking all the brown and serve rolls because we didn't rescue any of those. It's a different kind of bread. Look at this. Oh, we have a big container of yogurt that dates the 23rd of February. Mm. We're nowhere near that. There are a few bananas and mm, blackberries. Do they look okay? Berries get moldy so quickly, but those look all right. And they're dripping their juices on me. There's some more blackberries. Berries are a nice treat. All right, as I said, I'm gonna leave all that for other divers because you know, maybe my buddy's gonna come today and he needs bread. I don't know, he might. I'm gonna take this stuff. Um, look what just happened to my blackberries. Dang it! Wait, I think my big climbing box I need to get out, I think I just put it outside of the dumpster with some bananas in it. Smart mommy. But this box looks pretty sturdy. So that's, that's what I'm gonna use to hoist me up. Ooh, it's really high. Ooh, I'm breaking the box. Quickly. Whoa. Okay, I fell back into the dumpster. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to find a way to get out. I almost, I almost made it. I almost, I almost got my butt up here. And then the box started to give way. And there's a purple school bus up there for some reason. And that kind of distracted me and freaked me out. So, sheesh. Okay, okay. Nope, we're going down. We're going down. Okay. Forget the box. Forget the box. We just have to hoist up. Okay, I hoisted. I'm straddling. I can get out. I can get my foot up. I can, I can, I can. I'm sitting on the edge of the dumpster now. A little dance. A do, 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 do. What song is that? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Is it from Sophia the First? I'm not sure. It's probably from some stupid cartoon. I'm sorry. Did I just call Sophia stupid? I love you, Sophia. All right, let's get down without jumping on our dinner rolls. Ooh. Okay, now I have to clean up all the blackberries that spilled. Sorry if the image is kind of tipped. There, I have a holder thingy for the phone, so I don't have to hold it while I'm driving. I hardly ever use it, but something weird just happened with it, and now we're like this. I, I don't know why. Frugal Daddy, where are you when I need you to fix it? Oh, you know I don't care about expiration dates, right? If, if it's good, it's good, and if it's not, it's not. And I did a video on expiration dates, which really should have gone like worldwide viral because it was so brilliant, but of course it didn't. But for those of you who do care about expiration dates, like why, but for those of you who do and you wonder about why this food gets thrown away, I just noticed that the expiration date on, the, it's not an expiration date, food doesn't expire. The, 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 the best buy date, let's say, on those Danishes, six packages of Danish, which are sliding around in the back of the car, it's two days away, two days into the future from now. They're throwing them out two days before their date. Why won't this be normal? I kind of hurt my knees jumping out of the dumpster. It's like I've been outside to play and I hurt myself a little bit because I was playing rough. Ooh, I gotta get out in front of this traffic! Ah, queen of the road. Whoa. Ready to see what we got? Six of these nummy looking caramel nut danishes. We've already discussed these. I think these would be a great donation. We got the banana nut muffins, which look so good to me. And I really think 
that I would enjoy eating some banana nut muffins right now. But these, of course, aren't vegan, so I think this weekend I'm going to make some vegan banana nut muffins. 15 packages of brown and serve rolls, two garlic breads, and three of these huge, delicious loaves of pane torano, Italian bread, yogurt and blackberries, a perfect combination, six packages of cookies. We have three kitchen sink cookies, which contain, let's see, they're peanut butter cookies with chocolate chunks, peanut butter chips, white chocolate chunks, pretzels, and coconut, and then three of your standard chocolate chunk cookies. Hold on, I just found another. So it's four of the kitchen sink cookies and three chocolate chunk. We got a package of the mini brownies. Come in little individual bags. We got some bananas and a Caesar salad kit, a bag of oranges, a loaf of artisanal style bread, three zucchini, and four bags of avocados. So yet again, here at the Frugal Family Homestead, it's Carbapalooza weekend, where we are all carbs all the time. I'm not really a doctor, but I play one on TV. Well, thanks for watching, Dumpsterinos. Please leave your comments below, click the thumbs up, or the thumbs down. Either way, just click something, and subscribe, and just continue to be the wonderful, amazing viewers you are. I love you all. You're fantastic. I love reading your comments. I love the give and take we have in our conversations. I love it. So, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Stay sane. Stay happy. Healthy. Frugal. Fertile. Everything. Everything good. Stay that way. See ya.